Hi guys, in today's video I will show you the fastest way to grind credits after update 1.25. With this method you can make 825,000 credits in a little bit more than 24 minutes. Or about 2 million credits every hour. This is completely glitch free but it requires some preparation first. We need the Suzuki Cappuccino which is available at a used car dealership from time to time. If you don't have this car yet, you have to wait for it to appear on the US car dealership. The next thing we need is a RX-7 swap engine. You can get these engines in level 4 and level 6 roulette tickets. If you haven't this swap already, you have to do some daily marathons and also do some menus in the GT Cafe. And of course you need some luck to get an engine. Once we have this, we go to GT Auto and equip a couple of parts. I start with a white body and after this I add some custom parts like spoilers and the wing. I think it doesn't matter which parts exactly you use, so just go with what uh, matches your taste the best. But you need some parts and a wing to get additional downforce. After that I swap the engine and go on with some additional tuning parts. In general buy all parts that give you some higher performance points. Or just stick to the things I buy for my car. In addition we need some intermediate tires and some hard racing tires for this settings. Next is the setup and I'm using the one from Priano 63 on GT Planet. Link is down in the video description, so check out his tunes on GT Planet. The only thing I changed is the transmission. I use a simple 400 km per top speed setup and didn't adjust any of the separate gears. So now we've done all these things, we can go to World Circuits and head to the Tokyo 600 Touring Cars race. The race strategy isn't too complicated, we drive on Fuel Map 1 and I'd recommend to do a one-stopper, starting on intermediates and then go on hard tires after 5 laps. Especially on the first lap on intermediate tires and also on the first lap on the hard tires. The car is a bit tricky to drive so um, just be careful, have some smooth throttle inputs and also don't push the brakes too hard. Because the last update disabled the penalties for hitting the barrier, you can wall ride this first corner and shave off some additional seconds. With some skill and some training it's possible to do the first laps in about 2 minutes on the intermediate tires and go down to 155-156 lap times on hard tires in your second stint. But also if you're not that fast it's no problem, you will still win this race with a huge lead. I'd also recommend to don't push this too hard, it's easy to make a mistake and even they change the damage system you can still get some damage easily on this combo, which makes the car extremely hard to control and easy to spin and lose a lot of time. So just stay relaxed and you can farm a lot of credits here. I think this race is a little bit harder than the Sardegna race to grind, but once you've mastered car and track, your payout is a little bit higher and so it's more effective to grind in the end. My final time was 24 minutes and 16 seconds, so this equals about 2 million credits every hour with this method. Tell me in the comments which race you use to grind, or if you don't like to grind, tell me why. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, just give this video a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button for my channel, so you won't miss any of my future videos.